Hello, uh, today's lesson is uh, understanding uh, fractions. Uh, by the end of this lesson, uh, we will uh, uh, know the meaning of fractions, what a fraction means. Uh, proper fraction, which is a type of fraction, and improper fraction and showing fractions on a number line and the last part showing fractions in shapes um, to start off um, any fraction um, is written as one number on top of another number for instance two over 3 is a fraction the number at the top is called the numerator the number at the bottom is called the denominator and this is the fraction line and this is uh, read as two thirds. That is uh, the meaning of um, fraction, how we show it, and uh, what each part of fraction means. Um, but in terms of the concept of the fraction, what do we mean? when you write two-thirds this means that the whole part is divided into three for example consider a pizza we divide it into three equal parts three equal parts that is the total number in the whole and two is the part that we are taking out from that so uh, if i have this pizza and i divide it into three equal parts then i take two parts out of that that will be shown as two thirds okay and then what is an improper fraction um, an improper fraction is a fraction where its numerator is less than its denominator so a proper fraction is a fraction which has a larger denominator than its numerator. For instance, two thirds is a proper fraction because the denominator is larger than the numerator. Also, we can say that um, when you have an improper fraction, you have less than the whole. Uh, in this case, for example, we had only two parts of a pizza which has been divided into three parts. So, all you have is if that was a pizza we had only two parts this and this this is less than the whole pizza that is uh, the meaning of a proper fraction and then an improper fraction will be the opposite of that uh, an improper fraction has a higher numerator so an improper fraction has 
a higher numerator than its denominator. or larger numerator. Okay, if you want to look at an example, an example of that, an example of an improper fraction will be 5 out of 3, 5 thirds. 5 thirds is an example of an improper fraction. And this will be larger than the whole. Because if we had a pizza and we divide it into three parts, that's what it means, and we're taking five parts. Okay, so it means that we got to go to the next pizza and divide it into three parts and take three parts of that, which is now the whole, and another two parts, because now we've got five parts out of uh, three parts. So then when you have an improper fraction, you have a number that is larger than one. So in other words, you can write this as a one full pizza, one, and this is two out of three or two thirds. So these two are the same thing, five thirds and one and two thirds. The next one we're looking at is showing fractions on a number line. Here I have a number line, which I'll mark. Minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Assume that I want to show uh, the number 3 and 2 fifths on a number line. 3 and 2 fifths. So that means that uh, I got to do, go to 3 and go past 3, but I won't reach 4 because that means the whole part, you got to remember that each one of them is one part, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and so on. Now here, this tells me that I've divided uh, one part into five equal parts like this five equal parts and I've taken two of them so that's one, that's two, that's one part, that's two parts so that will be where the number three and two fifths will be the number three and two fifths will be here because uh, my whole part is three, I come to three and then I got to divide one whole part into five parts and take two parts. So that's the whole. I divided into five parts and I took two parts. And uh, for showing fractions uh, in shapes, um, so assume you have this shape. Assume this is the whole shape. It's the whole thing is just one single shape. So we have one, and we want to show the shaded area as a fraction of the whole shape. All right, as you can see, the whole shape has got 12 small parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I have divided the whole into 12 parts. That goes into the denominator. And I've shaded only five of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That goes into the numerator. So 5 twelfths. 5 twelfths is the fraction of, the, of this shape which has been shaded. Thank you for attention.